When the power goes out, if a corded phone or a corded cordless phone base does not take backup batteries, the phone can run using line power. But did you know that when on line power, the phone does not ring with its normal speaker? This is because the voltage on a line is 48 volts DC, which could be too high for complex phone equipment like a feature phone or a cordless phone or an answering system. And when off hook, it's too low. So it's around 48 volts when on hook, 6 volts when off hook. Maybe less on modern equipment like my Grandstream ATAs, cable modems, or cell to jack. So the on hook voltage on a line is too high, but that's not the only thing. The current on the line is very little. So there's a lot of voltage, but very little current. So, ironically, there is not enough power for the line to power a cordless phone base or a corded feature phone or answering system without external power. And the line doesn't power it at all when a phone uses external power. Let's ring up the phone first while plugged in, and of course the cordless handset is going to work as well. Now, we're going to unplug the base of the 1062. The cordless handset now will not work because the base does not have power. Because once again, even though the line has quite a bit of voltage on it, it has hardly any current. Now you may be wondering, if the line has very little current, how in the world is it still able to power a line-powered call blocker, especially its LCD display? First off, the LCD displays on such call-blocking devices or call-ID boxes are not backlit, because a backlight would take too much power from the line, and for backlit line-powered phones, the backlight is obviously seen when the phone is off-hook, not when it's on-hook. There's supporting circuitry like capacitors that helps it work. But still, that is not enough for this corded cordless phone's base to work fully. And so, when we pick up the corded receiver, on some phones, the base display will show something without a backlight. It'll say something like line power or check AC power. And then you can still use some of your features. The implementation varies depending on the phone. For example, on this Panasonic phone, it shows nothing. The volume is shared between line power and when plugged in. So, for example, if I increase it to level 4 on line power, that applies when plugged in as well. Or if I set it to level 1 while plugged in, it applies to line power uh, as well. On this Motorola phone, which we'll show after we demonstrate the Panasonic one, the display says line power and the soft keys for mute and hold are available. Now we're going to ring up the phone. On the Panasonic, it does respond to it being set to pulse styling, but not the Motorola. It does tone only. So as you can hear, the ring is different. And it comes out of a different place. Something called a piezoelectric speaker, or piezo for short. And this is what's seen in line-powered corded phones. And it's not all that surprising, really, because this is a line-powered corded phone right now, because it's unplugged. It does not allow you to use things like speakerphone. As far as I know, no corded cordless phones when online power allow you to use the base speakerphone, even though there are many line-powered corded phones, like this broken AT&T 706, where the speakerphone works off of just line power. That 706 takes only line power, no power cord or batteries at all. But I would guess it is a more complex design if they were to 
build that in to something that is primarily operated with complex circuitry software and a power cord. Once again, the, the cordless handset doesn't work. So even if I pick up the corded receiver, the cordless handset will not link to the base. On this phone, the tones still sound as if the base was plugged in. So if I dial here, it sounds just as if the base was plugged in. Redial, pause, and flash do not work on most corded cordless phones on line power mode. And again, the speakerphone doesn't work. On this phone, hold does not work, but on the Motorola, it does. Now I'm going to plug the phone back in while it's ringing. And call ID is completely ignored. And call waiting call ID won't be sent either, since this phone right now does not treat it as having call ID. Then when we plug it in, the phone reboots. I think some might wait until the ring stops, or maybe not, because it's not a complex circuit. It's just ringing a simple piezo speaker circuit. Now, if we're on the phone, on AT&T and VTech phones, the manual says that it'll wait to reboot once you hang up. But on this phone and the Motorola, if we plug it in, the base reboots. However, don't be fooled, it is still on the call. However, both ends will cut out while the base reboots, but the phone remains off hook. Now let's take a look at line power on the Motorola phone. When we pick up the corded receiver on this phone, the display comes on and says line power and the volume level as a number. When plugged in, the volume is displayed as a bar. The soft keys are available, but there's no key tone, even from the earpiece. Hold is kind of useless on this phone when on line power mode. So it makes sense that most phones with line power do not let you put it on hold. Because I'm going to put it on hold and hang up. And of course, when we hang up, the phone is not powered. So the call does not stay on hold. But again, I'm sure they could have implemented some circuitry to keep it on hold. Because again, there is a teeny bit of power, a teeny bit of current when the phone is on hook. And yes, this phone does have premium click feel buttons, which is unusual for a corded phone. Although VTech's next gen hotel phones, by the looks of it, might be the same way. Now we're going to ring this up. On this phone, you have to dial very slowly. Please See, it could not keep up with me spamming the 5 key. Now the phone's ringing, and notice how this one fades out. This light on the top flashes when it's plugged in and it rings, but on line power, that light is not used. The ring power does not make the screen work, and I guess that makes sense. The ring power is too high, 90 volts on a typical line, but again, probably less on modern things like ATAs and modems. So it could have, so it could blow it out if it was getting powered all by that ring signal. And that's why it uses a piezo speaker instead of a regular ringer. I don't have a power cord for the Motorola out right now. My bag of cords is a mess. I should really redo it. But same as for Panasonic, if it's plugged in during the ringing or while on the call, the phone will basically boot and then the call will continue. And even though this phone has a display when online power, there's no call waiting caller ID. 
which is different from a corded phone where the display is line or battery powered, where the caller ID works off of batteries or very flaky when off hook on line power. But caller ID is only present on phones that are battery powered or AC powered. In the case of my Emerson slimline phone of caller ID, it is powered by the line when off hook, but not as well as if batteries are in, especially if the off hook power on your line is too low. Usually, you can tell that a corded cordless or primarily AC powered corded phone has a piezo speaker if you see holes on the bottom. Now, some Panasonic two line corded cordless phones, actually just the two line KXTG 9471 series, for some reason does not have line power ability when the power is out. It does have the holes, but the manual says it does not work. Maybe it's a mistake and it does work, but if the manual is correct, that would be very surprising. I mean, very unusual, because usually a corded cordless phone will work when the power is out using line power for line one, but apparently the 947 one doesn't if the manual is correct, but it still has those holes. I just went off hook on the 1062 while plugged in, and then I unplugged it. Now I'm going to plug it back in, and you'll notice that the base is not going to beep, and the time will be preserved. This is because the base remains booted up enough if it transitions from a call on a corded receiver to line power mode and then back, so it is considered just a reboot, because some of the circuitry is kept alive by the phone being off hook on line power. And again, it does use some of the same circuitry because the, the tones are the same. And when this is in pulse styling, it'll do pulse styling. The Motorola will not do pulse styling, even if it's set that way when plugged in. Let's hear what the difference between plugged in versus line power on this Panasonic KXTV 1062 sounds like by playing the four messages I just recorded. The three messages, rather, I just recorded. I only recorded three of them. So let's go here and play the message. This message is being recorded with the 1062 plugged in. Press three for advanced message deleted. This message is being recorded with the 1062 online power mode. So this actually wasn't a very good message, but what I was trying to show is that when plugged in, there's a delay when picking up and putting back the receiver because it's software controlled. But when on line power mode, the switch hook, or hook switch, I think it's supposed to be called the switch hook, though. Sometimes it's called the hook switch. I don't really know which term is the correct one, or they're both correct, interchangeable, whatever. It just turns, it just opens and closes the circuit. So, takes the phone on and off hook instantly. Although some line powered phones, like the VTEC Contemporary Quartered Hotel phones, do have that delay. Another user, or nine, this message deleted. Last. This message is being recorded while the 1062 is plugged in. Now I'm going to unplug it. And now it's on line power mode. And this did not cause a line flash or pulse or anything. Now I'm going to plug it back in. 9, 10, 11, 12. And now the phone is plugged back in. Now I'm going to hang up. Press so actually there it behaved like it would have online power. So the delay on this is not as substantial as it normally is. Yeah, it's very quick to respond. Although, there's obviously still that delay in there. Because it didn't hang up every single time I put it back. There is a drawback to the fact that when on line power mode, 
the piezo ringer is used instead of the software ringer from the speaker. And that is a fact that you cannot adjust the volume of the ringer, nor can you turn it off. So I'm going to turn the bass ringer off, So now we only have the cordless handset ringing. But now, but now on line power mode, it still rings. And whatever I do, I cannot adjust the volume of this ringer. Plug it in, and then it returns to normal. If call ID came in before the base was powered back up, caller ID is not sent because the piezo speaker is all that's getting powered. So once it powers back up, once the ringing stops, the phone has no power, nothing going on. So it couldn't keep track of caller ID having come in. So it just loses the caller ID. And then you have a numberless call until the next one. Confusingly, the manual for the Panasonic KXTG 3651BX in the Middle East says that when it's online power mode, it rings with tone one. But how? I would guess it too uses a piezo speaker and it's not able to work fully when online power as far as the ringer goes. What it could mean is that they specifically chose a piezo that sounds just like the first ring tone in terms of the pitch of it. Obviously, it's not going to sound the same because of the characteristics of a piezo versus a regular speaker. Batteries in the phone slash bass is the more practical power backup approach for both corded and cordless phones because all the features in most cases will work. So for example, this 9582 I just unplugged, yet the Bluetooth still works, and I can use the answering system. And the speakerphone. And the ringer can be as loud as you want. However, it does have some measures in place, like a reduced backlight brightness. And you can know it's on batteries from this icon in the top right, which will flash when it's time to replace it. Models newer than this have a battery saving mode, so it can operate more like a line-powered corded phone. However, here it does still use the regular ringer, and it rings with volume level 1. At least that's how the manual makes it sound. Maybe it just, maybe it uses a piezo? I'm not really sure. And then you can turn this on or off. I'm not sure if it's on batteries, backup, and you turn it off if it immediately blanks out. I think that's what it would do. But then you have no way to turn it back off until the power comes back on. This one, unfortunately, does not have that. I thought it did, but it doesn't. But most corded phones, whether they're corded, corded feature phones that take AC power, or corded cordless phones, will use a piezo speaker when they're getting power directly from the phone line.